A car with only the driver on board carries the weight of its engine and transmission over the front wheels. This means the front wheels have better grip than the rear wheels. Because the front wheels have the most grip, giving those wheels more braking power results in the shortest braking distance. When passengers and luggage are added, weight and therefore grip is spread more evenly over the front and rear wheels. To effectively brake an evenly weighted car, braking power must also be evenly distributed between the front and rear wheels. This distribution is maintained until the extra load is removed from the vehicle or the ignition is switched off. Electronic Brake Force Distribution or EBD is responsible for this redistribution. So how does it work? A load sensor measures the weight distribution between the front and rear wheels. If additional load such as occupants and luggage is detected over the rear wheels, the sensor instructs the master cylinder to redistribute brake force. The master cylinder reduces brake fluid pressure to the front wheels and increases pressure to the rear wheels until the brake force is evenly distributed. Let's take a look at EBD in action. The vehicle on the left is fully loaded and has EBD. The vehicle on the right is also fully loaded but does not have EBD. Both vehicles are travelling at 100 kilometres per hour. Let's simulate an emergency braking situation and see what happens. Both drivers apply the same brake force at the same time. But the vehicle with EBD has better grip because its brake force has been optimised based on the weight distribution and so it stops sooner. EBD apportions brake force depending on vehicle load and helps the driver avoid accidents by reducing the stopping distance. This ensures that if there is a collision, the impact speed is lower.